Hi there, I'm Chrissy. You found my YouTube channel, Chrissy Love. It is awesome to have you here. I post this channel twice a week with fragrance reviews of perfumes and home fragrance, all kinds of fragrance, anything that tickles my nose I talk about on this channel. I also post to TikTok and Instagram about every other day with my scent of the day and other content around fragrance. So thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Being part of this community has been amazing for the past seven months and it just keeps on rolling and getting better. Today I am doing a review of Wild Spirit. I have a discovery kit which also came with an extra sample. So I have five perfumes of theirs I'm reviewing today. This is not a love letter to Wild Spirit. Let me just give you that intro right here. Um, this is a really honest review and some are great and some are really not. So let's jump right in. So the good thing about Wild Spirit as a company is that they don't put any sulfates, parabens, or dyes in their perfumes. And they say they use natural essential oils. Now the word natural is thrown around in beauty quite a bit and it means literally nothing. It is no standard at all. Um, it's just a buzzword. And so I find it problematic when companies use the word natural, trying to, I think, deceive us into thinking that we're putting something really safe on our bodies. Um, I'm looking at the ingredients here on the back of this discovery kit box, and it says alcohol, water, fragrance, synthetic and natural ingredients, which means though they may use natural essential oils, there's other stuff in there too. So I just wanna just warn you and say, please be careful when a fragrance says that it's clean or safe, um, just just be careful with it because it doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely safe and natural. It means there are safe and natural elements in it. So that being said, I'll talk about the first fragrance here, which is Candy Heart. And this has top notes of fresh plum, honey crisp apple, ivy leaves, and sparkling neroli. Has middle notes of purple freesia, rose essence, warm ylang ylang, and creamy to rose. This is off their website, obviously. It's a little bit um, inflated. And bob notes of mineral musk, cedarwood, sandalwood, and amber amber woods. And when I first put this on my skin, I'm just going to remind myself, but I have already worn this. At first spray or dab, it is a very sweet plummy scent with freesia, but the dry down is where it lets me down because it's really a cheap floral mess. It's low quality, poorly blended, just basic run of the mill florals, nothing really great and special about it. And the performance wise, it's completely gone on my skin after only a few hours. So with candy, I thought it would be like sweet and gourmand, something fun like that. But in actuality, it's just like a weird floral perfume. So yeah, candy heart, not my favorite. Next I have Spring Jasmine. This has top notes of green apple, fig leaves, and green tea. Mill notes of mugway, black tea accord, and creamy jasmine and gardenia. And bomb notes of sandalwood, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. And these are roller balls, by the way, in this discovery kit. And I'm not gonna put it on my skin right now because I'll just smell like it all day. Um, anyway, so for Spring Jasmine on my skin, it, it definitely is a fresh, vibrant jasmine. It has kind of like this sour candy tang to it, which is not a bad thing. It's kind of gourmand and kind of fun actually. And the dry down is this fresh jasmine with some green notes. It has, has this kind of soft bitterness from the tea that I actually really enjoy. So really it's a straightforward, not very complex scent. It's like a jasmine and green note tea, but it's pretty, it's relaxing, it's really easy. The performance is reasonable longevity. Like it lasts on the skin, but the projection is very poor. So it's really a skin scent that's really a personal scent for you. But actually it's it's quite pretty and maybe a little bit shampooy, but generally like a jasmine tea, which I do not hate. So that is spring jasmine. Next I have Driftwood, which is ocean inspired, and it has top notes of sparkling star fruit, mineral cord, mandarin and mint leaves, and middle notes of freesia, jasmine, lemon blossom, and water lotus, and balm notes of cedarwood, soft musk, driftwood, and orconics. And on my skin, I'm first up applying, it smells like an air freshener. It's kind of like this nondescript salty freshness and the dry down it smells kind of more woody so it has this like watery woods but still fresh scent to it so there's not really any sweetness it's just like fresh wateriness with some woods in it to my nose um 
But you know what? That's not bad. It's another one that's like kind of more on the peaceful, personal, relaxing side, like where on a day off, when you're just staying in, when you don't really need to impress anyone or even want to, you're just kind of like having this personal moment with your fragrance. So performance wise, it is a skin scent through and through. It'll just be immediately on you. You'll have to really like smell your arm to get it. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's, this one is blended well. Driftwood is pretty and light and fresh, and I actually really enjoy it for what it is. So actually Driftwood is kind of a winner in my book. Second to last, I have First Snow, which I think is meant to be more on the masculine side, certainly more unisex. And the top notes on this are juniper berries, lemon verbena, black pepper, and bergamot. The middle notes are guac wood, white birch, and Bushman's candle. I don't know what that means. And the bottom notes are amber, vanilla, sandalwood, and coconut water. And on my skin, at first application, it's really peppery. The pepper is really strong and it has kind of like a bay rum vibe to it. It's very cologne-like. The dry down, unfortunately, it, it's, it, the performance is so very poor that it's gone within like an hour. Like I went to go smell it for the dry down and it was just gone. It was like a little hint of pepper, but it was gone. So this is one that's gonna fade uber fast, but when it's on your skin, you know, every hour you have to apply it, it'll be kind of peppery bay rum cologne-like. So it's it's nice. It's kind of like stealing your boyfriend's cologne or something. That's kind of what it feels like to me. So I can see myself just like wanting a whiff of it before bed or, you know, just wanting like the memory of cologne, which I really do enjoy the scent of cologne. I always want to smell like cologne, but I love the scent of cologne. So this is actually pretty good for that when you just kind of want that that moment with uh, a cologne scent, but you don't want to like stay on you all day or like be your scent for the day. So Really interesting, and I also kind of say these bottles are really cute. They're just really darny and really cute. Anyway, so that is First Snow. And now for the reason why I'm really talking about this house at all, because if I didn't love the perfumes, I wouldn't talk about them. There's one that I love, and it is called Chill, which is funny because in this Discovery Set bottle, it has a blue label, but then on the full-size bottle, it's an orange label, and it's definitely like an orangey fall scent. <laughs> so the top notes are golden apple, apricot, ocean accord, and cinnamon flower. The middle notes are vanilla orchid, osmanthus, sea salted caramel, and jasmine petals. And the bottom notes are amber, sandalwood, cacao, cashmere musk, and orconics. And this is what I'm talking about for fall. So on my skin at first, it's like a vanilla and very creamy caramel, but the dry down is Unreal. It's like this warm, buttery caramel. Um, there isn't really much apple in it, but it's like very creamy and sweet and gourmand and delicious. This is like a gorgeous, easy reach for fall. Now, performance wise, it is the best of all of them. Thank goodness. Um, so the, it has pretty reasonable performance. Not bees mode, but you know, you'll smell it most of the day. It projects reasonably well, especially when I have it like around my neck. Like that's where it projects really nicely for me. Um, so this is like a just really beautiful creamy caramel scent. The apple I think adds a little bit of freshness, like it doesn't smell heavy with caramel. It, it kind of is like a fresh, nice, sweet caramel, um, really pleasing. It's a really pleasing scent. I think that in a crowd, you'll, people will really like being around you with this one on. And it's awesome for fall. Um, yeah, this is a really fun one. So I'm definitely keeping the chill and I might even buy a full size bottle because I can always use caramel scents for like layering, adding sweetness to other perfumes I have, or just when I want to smell extra yummy. So yeah, that is the winner of the day and that is chill. So let me know if you've had a chance to try any of their scents, the Wild Spirit scents, what you think about them. I'd love to hear your feedback. And also your feedback about this video would be very much appreciated. I always love to, to hear what's working and what's not. So thanks for being here. Hope you have a very beautiful day.